There's a lot of mafia in Haiyan. A daughter, a mother, they went and did a similar thing and they both got killed. Do you have a tip for someone that never been to Vietnam or something that you wish you would have known? No, the taxi meter was not uh, <laughs> the good ones. Uh. We are in Hoi An, this is in the center of Vietnam. This is also the most popular place in Vietnam. If you come to this amazing country, you most likely want to visit this place. Now, I would like to check out if this place is not too touristic and is this place really so good as we think it is. Now let's try to find a good mixture of people to get a better understanding if Hoi An is still worth to visit. I tried to find out if it's still worth visiting this place because it's very touristic. Can you mention something that is really sticking out for you? The architecture and how they've kept like this kind of Japanese influence um, and they, like the greenery here is great. Do you think it's too busy here? We just came uh, arrived like uh, the other day um, from uh, Hu or yeah yeah um, <laughs> pronunciation yeah, yeah. Um, and I I didn't have like the biggest expectations to uh, Hu compared to Hoi An but I was actually very very impressed by Hu okay and also um, I guess they're not as touristy I, I don't know but I mean I think yeah. the, the people were also extremely friendly where you can definitely tell like the mm. local people here are much more accustomed to tourists. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A different attitude. Yeah. yeah. The motorbikes are quite annoying, but yeah. they're everywhere. Well, the, apparently there's motor a motorcycle free area this one, but it doesn't yeah. look like no, it. No, it doesn't look like <laughs> it. I would definitely say like when you like go on like the like walk around the streets at night, I guess they come across a bit like locals come across a bit more like pushy and aggressive like uh, in terms of wanting to yeah. pull you inside their yeah. stores or bars or whatever. So if you have to make your plans again to Vietnam, would you still come here? Uh, well, I could, I could. I mean, the yeah. tailor, <laughs> the whole uh, tailoring clothes and yeah. uh, merchandise you can get from around here is yeah. actually really great. Are you t taking a suit here as well? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you, you also? Yeah. You spent a whole week in Hoi An. Yeah. What oh, made you stay here? We did a lot of traveling yeah. in Hanoi. So okay. every day we did uh, yeah, some trips. Yeah. So it was quite busy. And now we decided to have, during half our uh, holiday to take yeah. a break. Just nice. do relaxing yeah. on the beach. Oh, so you're staying at the beach? At the beach, yeah, yeah ah. on purpose. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why you say on purpose? Because we like to do some relaxation on the beach. We have swimming pools, so we take some some break time. Yeah. yeah. And nice. how are the beaches here? Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Clean. Uh, it's not too busy. Yeah, okay. It's a bit hot though, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's the so hottest period of the year. Two minutes on the sunbed and then... Yeah, fair enough. Ten so minutes in the sea. Yeah. Hoi An, we are now in the center. How do you like it here? It's nice, yeah. especially in the evening with all yeah. the lights. A yeah. uh, bit crowded Yeah. because it's a tourist uh, attraction, I guess. Yeah. But Is it disturbing, uh, the, the, the busyness? No, I think it's okay because there's not any, that many uh, traffic or scooters. Oh yeah. Yeah. For yeah. example, in Hanoi, there is everywhere traffic. <laughs> it's chaos. Yeah, it's yeah. chaos. So yeah. it's less chaotic. Ah. So it's still okay. Is there something that you don't like about Hoi An? I can't say uh, I dislike anything, actually. No. I think it's cool because yeah. it's uh, more quiet, yeah. less traffic. It's more uh, relaxed place, I think. What's the thing you like the most in Vietnam? I think the friendly people. Yeah. Yeah. They never become angry. Not even in traffic when you're in the way, you know. <laughs> no, they only <laughs> honk. We don't know the rules, so we just cross the road <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they honk and that's it. Yeah. They don't shout, yeah. they don't become angry. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. In the uh, Netherlands it's a little bit different if you exactly. do something wrong. Yeah, it's more <laughs> stressful, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I like it. Okay, cool. Um, do you have a tip for someone that never been to Vietnam or something that you wish you would have known? Maybe the time to come here because this period it's really hot, I have to say. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be this hot. Yeah. Now in general, I would say just come here because yeah. it's so relaxed mm. and different culture yeah. and the food is really great. That's that's the best, yeah. I think. Yeah. All the different uh, flavors. I've been here for like five days. Oh. I'm going to stay a week here in total. Wow. Yeah, it's so only a Ho Hoi An. I've done like all of Vietnam. I'm doing north to south. Yeah. Uh, it's just, this is like my happy like place. Yeah. Like I always find in every country like a happy place okay. where I can chill because traveling can be really exhausting. and. Yeah. This yeah. is very like relaxing place. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, we basically want to give the people a good impression about what it is right now. Because uh, I think it has been uh, uh, turned into a very touristic place. Do you yeah. think it's too busy or it's still doable? It's doable, of course, but it is very busy. Yeah. Like I prefer like staying at the beach side. It's not that uh, far. Like yeah. my hostel has like a I hostel here, here and a hostel on the beach side. And okay. it's just 10 minutes ride and yeah. it's so easy so I like to stay there 
I just get a shuttle in, ah. or like you can drive a motorbike. Yeah. You're here, and then you just go out again. So, so you stay. You decide to stay in the city or in the, in the at the beach side. So I stayed like three nights in the city, yeah. and then I just went to the beach side. But I like the beach side a bit better. Yeah, yeah. You call yeah. it your happy place. <laughs> Do you think a lot of people see the same thing as you? Like that, that's what people attract. So what, what do you like so much? I think it's just, I know it sounds cheesy, it's just the vibes, yeah, <laughs> they're okay. good, good vibes here, uh, yeah. there's like a mixture of culture and I think it's just relaxed and a lot of people do what I do which is north to south yeah. and after like having done so many things, getting in a, like it's a small town, you can walk everywhere, there's the beach, yeah. there's like a little bit of everything, it's more relaxing, I think it's just like a good like mix of yeah. tourism and a more laid back, it's not really a city. Yeah. And I'm not a huge city person, so this is more doable. Yeah. But it is very busy. Yeah, it okay. Is. I also hear, when I hear Hoi An, uh, people are talking about be careful, scams, etc. Do you feel like there are a lot of scams here? Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Just pay attention, don't hop on bikes. Okay. That you don't know that they're not grabs at night. Yeah, but that's what I hear. Did you say this, or do you say this because you hear this also, or did you have? Yeah, like even yesterday night, like I've met so many people who told me that they got robbed. No, got yeah. robbed. Yeah, so Ooh. just don't like. There's a lot of mafia in Hoyan, oh. so just pay attention. Yeah, I think it's fine as long as you don't hop on those motorbikes yeah. that are not grabs. Like, yeah. just don't do that. Like, because a lot of people, I think they're drunk. They're getting out of like bars or clubs, and yeah. they just hop on them, and then. They would just bring you like somewhere else, take yeah. your money. Or even like a guy said that he, they did bring him to his hostel, but like, well, he didn't watch, like he didn't see, he was a bit drunk and the next morning he had no cash in his wallet. Ooh, okay. So, oh, yeah. so these things are happening actually also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel like actually this is in a way like a little Italy in <laughs> Vietnam. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, because it, like, <laughs> I feel like it's quite touristic and like they have like all the shops like where you can get stuff tailored like I think you have like that vibe and the food is really good. I really love the food here. Yeah. Uh, I find the food in South Vietnam nicer than Northern Vietnam okay. but maybe that's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. I really like it okay. and yeah I think people are also like the locals are more a bit more relaxed yeah. so, like a uh, very friendly. Hey, so, what are you going to do next? On Monday I'm going to go to uh, Dalat and then Ho Chi Minh and then Cambodia. And how long is your trip in Cambodia? Two weeks, okay. then Laos and Thailand, then oh. another country. I'm traveling until December, so yeah. for a long time. Nice I have one. eight months total. So yeah. How come you can travel so, such a long time? I quit my job yeah. <laughs> to come travel, <laughs> that's why. Money is important, it is, it is really important, but if you're doing something that you don't love, you're eventually just gonna be miserable. So find something that at least like you're, you're actually happy we have just been arriving yesterday yeah. and we will spend uh, one more day, so two okay. days uh, here. <laughs> How do you like Hoyan? It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, for me, it's the most beautiful city uh, in Vietnam yeah, okay. since uh, we are here. Ah, where have you been? Starting in Hanoi, yeah. so very different from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then uh, we go in the north, uh, mountain, uh, Sapa, so uh, it's... Uh, uh, it was yeah. amazing too. Yeah. It's uh, just forest and uh, rice fields, uh, yeah. so very different from here <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, Ue, Ue, uh, very nice town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, compared to everything, like how do you you saying you really like Hoyan, the best place so far? Yeah, because you don't have skyscraper, it's very typical, yeah. uh, and you really have the feeling to be in an old Vietnamese city. Yeah, the buildings uh, are really uh, wonderful. Yeah. Uh. How do you like the people? Oh, uh, uh, Vietnamese people a are a lot really of tourists here. <laughs> well, yeah. Not so many, not so many. A lot uh, of tourists, but yeah, there are uh, Vietnamese people are generally amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, very, are, and very nice welcoming people yeah. uh, is there something that happened that was maybe not so pleasant here in vietnam i would say some uh, taxi yeah, man uh, uh, in uh, <laughs> hanoi <laughs> oh. but uh, that's uh, what we, happened no the taxi meter was not uh, <laughs> the good ones uh, so. oh, they, <laughs> they turn on a different meter yeah yeah that's right oh, uh, when you when, when you drive one uh, meter the taxi meter uh, show uh, probably 10 meters. <laughs> oh, no, so, yeah, so yeah. what did you do? You end up paying or you're like, no, no, no. Oh, it we, was we, our first day. In Vietnam, we so have we paid, it was know. not. Uh, yeah, but how uh, much we paid for. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it was not the good fare, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, that happens. Yeah, it's part of the experience. Yeah. Come to Hoi uh, An and come to Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
it's, okay. it's worth uh, the, the, the trip. Uh. Yeah, it's worth it. It's my third day here this time, okay. but I was here 26 years ago. Oh, so, wow. Yes. Oh, that's perfect, because uh, we are also wondering now, uh, is it not getting too busy here? It's incredibly busy. But, yeah. you know, I mean, it's so long ago, I can't really, really remember it that well. Ah, okay. But it's just, I'll tell you a funny story, actually, yeah. because when I was here 26 years ago, I, uh, we were here for a week because I was yeah. backpacking. So I had a month yeah. together in Vietnam. Yeah. And I met this little Vietnamese girl on the beach, yeah. which was completely quiet. No one was on the beach. Yeah. She used to sell pineapples. Okay. And then um, on the penultimate day, because she said she used to walk to, sc- walk, walk to school four miles or whatever. So on the penultimate day, I said to her, you know, you're allowed to come into town and have lunch. And I had in my mind that perhaps I'd buy her a bike if I could afford it, because okay. I was only backpacking. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, she was allowed to come into town. So we had lunch and then we went to a bike shop. And I said, you know, do you want to choose a bike? And I, the man, I said to the man, how much is the bike? And he said, oh, is it for you or is it for her? And I said, no, it's for her. So he gave me obviously a really, you know, obviously a good price. Yeah. And so we got this bike and then we were, you know, cycling back to the beach. Yeah. And she was holding my hand and ringing the bell. Nikki, Nikki, you make me so happy. You make me so happy. I went to the beach today to see. I just had in my mind that I wanted to meet her. Ah. And I went to the hotel desk this morning and I yeah. said, you know, can I have a car to the beach? I want to see if, you know. And she put the pictures on social media. Yeah. And all these people came back to her, people phoning her, people phoning her. And she lives in Sweden. I've just this moment had a video call no with her. No way. Yeah. Well, she moved to Sweden she eventually. Moved to Sweden and her mum and her brother. I've yeah. got pictures in their village with yeah. me because when I bought this bike, the whole ah. village came out. No way. Yeah. Ah. And I've just done a video, which is amazing. On this channel, we're having a lot of travel stories, and this is one yeah. of the most beautiful things. Yeah. Unfortunately, she's not here, though. I, I know, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. But no, but she comes here every year, and it's just so lovely right. to see her. And uh. now I'm sure on WhatsApp, yeah. and we can keep in contact. Yeah. So I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, so uh, what took you so long? 26 years coming back to Vietnam. Well, I've got two kids, 15 yeah. and 17, ah, okay. and um, and I thought. I'd you know, I thought Vietnam is a lovely country and yeah. I thought they'd really appreciate it. Oh, so you're so with your family here? I was, yes, I'm with my two children ah, here. So, yeah, yeah. and we're, we travel from North with G Adventures ah. and amazing. And, you yeah. know, we just come from North to South. So we're going to Ho Chi Minh tomorrow. Your kids are quite, quite like, not, not kids anymore yeah, yeah, kind of thing. Adults. Is it safe for them here in Vietnam? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I don't know whether it's because we're with a family tour, but I mean, I've traveled a lot. I've traveled everywhere okay. by myself, mainly. And I would say Vietnam is a really safe country, yeah. incredibly safe country. And and here in Hoi An, they're warning a lot about the scams. Do you feel there are a lot of scammers here? You know what? I think you can get scammed anywhere. Yeah. So I think if anywhere you go. I mean, I've been to Barcelona and, oh. and Barcelona is <laughs> the a capital nightmare. city of scams. <laughs> and, and also of just thieving, right? You yeah. know, I would not, you know, I, I wouldn't want to go back there, but I feel very, very safe yeah. here. And, um, and I think, you know, you have to, I mean, I'm sure I've been scammed. I mean, while I was in Hoi An, I, I, my, my shoes were cleaned and oh. I was scammed by probably two pounds. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought to myself, you know what? I actually prefer to give this man two pounds. Yeah. Then that, which you shouldn't perhaps do, but actually it's nothing. So what scams are you talking about? No, I'm, I'm just wondering because I'm going into a, a bar and then at the toilets are saying, warning me about uh, motorbike drivers that want to rip you off or they, yeah. they talk about rob you even, like uh, these kind of things. Well, I tell you, in I think in Lombok, Indonesia, oh, yeah. I think that is quite prevalent there. Oh, okay. And I think, I mean, I remember when I was very young, well, not very young, but a lot younger than I am now okay. and traveling there. Yeah. And I remember a guy wanting to take me on a bike oh. um, and and I said yes, and then the next morning he came and I just had this really gut feel that it was a really wrong thing to do. Yeah. And I said to him, I don't want to go on this tour anymore, I'll pay you, I'll pay you the exact amount, pay mm-hmm. you petrol, pay you whatever yeah, you want, yeah. but I do not want to do this. Yeah. He got really angry with me. Wow. And I said, why are you getting so angry when yeah. you can, you've got the money and yeah. you can go and get someone else yeah. and you've got double the money at yeah. the same time. And, um, but I heard a story, at my kids' music class, that um, a daughter, a mother, they went and did a similar thing and they both got killed. No way. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was this? In, in Lombok, wow. in Indonesia. Where, okay. So, uh, you know. There's also quite a touristic uh, yes. island at the moment. You have to be in, I mean, that was again, many years ago yeah. I went, okay. I'm talking 30 years ago. Yeah, right. Well, 26 years ago. Yeah. But it's, you have to be so careful. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, men and women have to be so careful about traveling on your own yeah. and being streetwise, yeah. actually. We can uh, finish this yeah. chat really with a positive note because it is, also safe you just have to be aware I think always got to be aware wherever yeah. you are whether you're at home in London yeah. whether you're here yeah. I have not felt any remotely 
bad in this country at no. all. I felt really safe. Yeah. Everyone's really friendly. Everyone, in fact, the people, the person who tried to scam me and my daughter for cleaning our shoes, yeah. the local people there, we were in, in Train Street in Hanoi, yeah. and they were telling this man off and saying, you, you, yeah. you know you're being scammed and you're being, and you know, I said, it doesn't matter, it's yeah. fine. And they were actually really, really cross that yeah. this man yeah. had tried to pay an extra charge. Yeah. Extra They're looking out for and you. They're here. looking out yeah. for me. It's an incredibly beautiful country full of beautiful people. Yeah. They've been through so, so much hardship. The, the wars they've been through, and um, the hard, the eating their pets when they were starving, being you know um, colonised by the French, mm. and also you know the American War, mm. and I think they deserve every help they can get. Yeah. And tourism is the way forward, actually. Because we're talking about Hoi An, do you think it's still after uh, so many tourists have? visit this place do you think it's still worth to visit I think it's definitely worth to visit and the people I'm traveling with the group I'm traveling with a lot of people said it's, a, it's the best place I've been in Vietnam yeah. I mean it is incredibly busy yeah. to go around a monument is actually it's a bit like going around Florence yeah. or Rome in yeah. August yeah. you perhaps don't want to do it I don't know but actually you, the chances are you're only going to be here for two or three days yeah. so I think you know go shopping go along the yeah. river have a look at the beautiful lanterns yeah. Um, have an amazing food and um, we're really lucky with the weather and just enjoy every moment. Yeah. Is Hoi An still worth visiting? I would say definitely yes. It is touristic, it is very busy, but it's such a beautiful place and if you like good food, nice weather, beautiful beaches, this is your place to be. And you perhaps stop longer here like us than you planned. This channel is based in Thailand. We're showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia and now we are in Vietnam for still quite a few episodes to come thank you so much for watching till the very end i would like to say from the beautiful hoi an bye for now and stay champ